This segment is brought to you by Asian Cultural Alliance.
why the education ministry had such a hard time responding to questions. So it shows that you have seen the most authentic version. So I want to ask you, here you have three. 你看到是哪三份？你回忆一下，好不好？呃，我跟我们报告啊，因为我这边并没有原件，所以我现在没有办法现场跟您确认哪一哪一份。但是我跟我们报告，我们看到的是在一民国七十三年，正大报给教育部做教师资格审定所附的毕业证书影本。那这份资料，我们也跟正大所留存的人事资料再去做比对。这是一致的，不是？因为这三份是有公开，是总统公开的三份毕业证书。那市长，你是很少数有看到是那个影本的人。那这三份里面是哪一份？还是有第四份？哦，我跟我跟我们报，我们看到的就是一九八四年，其实是啊，七十三年报的。这三份哦，没有。我因为这我现在没有正本，我没有没有影本在手，没有办法去现在马上说哪一份是对的。呃，麻烦您，呃，我们现在哦，因为也是基于大家休息一下，我们呃休息个五分钟，然后之后开始你回去确认一下，到底这三份是看到哪一份，因为这对于这个佐证很有重要。During this recess at a legislative hearing, the Director General of the Ministry of Education's Department of Higher Education, Zhu Junzang, deliberated with his aides endlessly and made a few phone calls. Afterwards, this was his response. We have currently preserved the certificate of graduation the document. 我们也去比对了，啊，总统府在九月二十三号记者会，他公开的简报第一页里面所呈现的毕业证书的简报上面的呃那一个毕业证书，我们也比对了，也是一致的，这三者都是一致的。Why is it that Zhu was so unwilling to answer such a simple question from the start? All of the information divulged had already been extensively covered in the media well before the hearing. Why is it that Zhu wouldn't provide a clear-cut answer without having his file on hand? Zhu's strange behavior drew a lot of attention. Could it be that the diploma that the education ministry had really was from 1983? Is it possible that there is a fourth diploma? The 1984 diploma was first shown to the public on September 4, 2019, via a Facebook post made by the presidential office. The diplomas in the Education and Examination Ministry's possession has not been shown to the public. They are sealed away until December 31, 2049. Why is that? Perhaps the Education Ministry spoke too soon. The论文能争议到今天已经一年多了，不但没有如蔡英文所愿的消失，甚至有越来越多人加入，有越演越烈的趋势，一直到今天，仍然不断有学者撰写文章挑战总统的诈骗行为。There are even entries now on online encyclopedias chronicling the events behind the search for Tsai Ing-wen's thesis. Li Meizhen's plagiarism scandal reminded everyone of Tsai Ing-wen's suspected academic misconduct. Any discussion on scholarly integrity now will entail a discussion into Tsai's thesis. Those that discuss Tsai's academic background are the historians who will define her legacy. They will bestow unto Tsai the treatment she deserves in the annals of history.